Uh, Mike, uh, what is your last name? It's uh, Bacher. It's Bacher. And you uh, own what company? Michelson's Outdoor Solutions Landscaping Company. And what's your, la what's your uh, racing company's name? Moss Racing. It's the acronyms of my landscape company. All right. So you've been karting for how many years? I got about seven or eight years under my belt. And how many years have you been Daytona? Four years. Four years. So it is 2023 running, and what were the dates? Oh, the 27th through the 30th. 27th through the 30th. And who were the teams and the people that went with you? Oh, uh, we had two teams, Moss Racing and then Law Racing. Law Racing's made up of uh, Levi and his dad, Travis. And then Moss Racing is made up of uh, myself, uh, Gary Lynn, um, and Don Schlegel. Big shout out to Craig Johnson as well as to Carter and little Nathan who helps us out in the pits and with all the necessary little tasks. All right, well, we're gonna give a little shout out to Jay Smith 143 for the footage behind you. So when, when you were down there, you know, let's say from first year to fourth year, what was it like for you being on that track, going on those banks, and did you ever hit the wall or get up to the wall, or even touch the wall? Oh my goodness, that is super, super scary. You know, after the race, after practice, drive up to the wall, touch the wall. It's such an angle. It's like looking down three stories. You get nervous that you're going to slide back down the wall. It really is an adrenaline rush. And what do you love about karting? Oh, when everything goes right, it's an awesome feeling. It's not always about winning. It's just when everything comes together and you do your best, it really is it's, it's a, it's a special feeling. So I'd say normally if you're running around Indiana, what are some of the tracks you run in Indiana? Uh, mostly Newcastle and then Whiteland. I also do a road race up in Elkhart. In Elkhart. And how fast do you get them revved up to and talk about the engine a little bit? Uh, we have rev limiters on there, but depending on the track layout, that's how we gear it. Um, so typically in Indiana, we're somewhere right around that 55 to 58 mile an hour range. Uh, Daytona being a longer track, we're geared more up there in the 80 to 85 range. Okay. And how young were you uh, when you first had your first driving behind any type of, you know, not just normal car, but any type of race car experience? Well, I'm just going to have to go with go-karting. So I was mid forties, late forties. What was the motivation? Uh, Jeff Snyder's bachelor party, to be honest with you. Okay. Now, if you could go one by one with the people that went on the trip with you, if you could say their name, kind of describe their personality, and uh, just just maybe maybe a, a thing about them that you'd just like to share, and maybe how you met them. Well, we got a uh, start with law racing. We got Levi, young kid, very very talented. Um, he lives and breathes for racing. Um, great guy to have on your team. Um, Travis is his dad. Um, once again, a solid guy. Help out a teammate. Love the race with them. Great, great guys to be racing with. Levi, young kid, very talented. Used to do dirt racing when he was five, six, and seven. So he brings in a lot of talent, even at his young age. Travis is his dad. Great team player solid racer hopefully one day i could be as good as he is and grow a good enough goatee like he has um but a great team to be associated with and who else was was it uh, his wife there as well or his wife was there um and she's a a key part of keeping the team together helping out with all the small tasks what's her name uh cheryl cheryl and then who else uh, was out there with you that you need to mention Donnie? Donnie, so we bring us to the Moss Racing Team. Um, and huge shout out to Donnie. Without Donnie, this wouldn't be possible. He gives so much time, so much energy into organizing everything. Team, grid, logistical expert. I think that says it all. And the best at the hospitality part of the race. And then who else? Hands down. So the next we got uh, we got Gary Lynn, um, 
his base is from the old school. He used to race with Craig Johnson, fabricator of chassis back in the day. A lot of talent, a lot of experience that I can learn from. And then it leads us up to the racer himself, the team sponsor, that would be me, this guy. Uh, still learning, but absorbing knowledge and information and continuing to improve. Okay. All right. Well, listen, we're going to close this intro out, but we're going to get to maybe some highlights per day. Mark, we're looking forward to seeing this redhead in Daytona. Sounds good. Mike, so we're going to talk about load-in, and uh, obviously, you know, you're close to the beach. There's a lot of fun that happens on the beach. You know, it's not cartwheel week, but it's cart week. So let's talk about load-in, and let's talk about, uh, you know, how that first day went. So you get there on the 27th on Wednesday. Just briefly, just tell me what that first load-in day was like. Oh, basically, we just sit for the morning, sitting in line, escort us into the track. And then the frenzy pace of unloading everything, finish this cart set up, just getting everything prepped for the day of practice the following day. Okay, all right, well, let's go to it. So the Tona Beach News Journal got this footage for us, but uh, it was a rain delay, that, that, uh, basically the first day. Our first day of open practice, that's where we tune everything in, unfortunately. The speeds we travel at, race at, they do not let us practice in the rain. Well, it looks like these people behind are pissed off. So well, let's let's get to basically, what is it? Day two, but technically day one of racing. Correct. Okay. All right, Mike, so uh, this is basically your first day of racing, and it's Friday the 29th. Uh, this gentleman right here actually, hopefully, is going to be sending some other footage, but this is for you to be able to talk about. If you'd like to turn around right now and kind of point out what's going on on this first day on the course. Beginning of the race, as you can see, we're headed out to the main track. And then here I am, wearing my khakis, getting out in front of him. My teammate right there, Travis. Uh, give me a good push as we're moving along. Um, as you can see, uh, get ready to go on inside the interior of the road course part of it. Very exciting. Tires haven't come in yet, so you can see a lot of sliding. So what, how many guys are on the track? That's uh, a very good question. They combine several classes together. Overall, there's about 60, 70 carts, right around 30 that are in my actual class. And how did, how did this whole heat go for you? Actually, uh, it went it went fairly well until my motor blew up. And about how far into the, uh, I guess, the time of running? I was lap three. It was lap three? Out of 12. What do you think the reason it blew up? It was its time. It was prepped. It was it was sent to the shop to get refreshed. Everything was good to go. It just went. And that was it, huh? That was it. What about the teammates? How'd they do on this one? Uh, not so well. Gary's first time out there. He finished the race. Didn't have much help being pushed. Travis was uh, being pushed by the gentleman who made the video and then lost his rear bumper. So. He came out of the race for that. And then Levi unfortunately dropped off without any help too, so. Yeah, Jack made the video. We appreciate that he did. He 
Oh, Straight exactly. having that, uh, that car footage. Right there. And what else is going on right here? You know, I think you just... Now we're in the back. Yet. He's passing us. Travis, Gary. I must have already dropped off. Yeah, you're right. Well, you're back behind it a little bit. Oh, okay. And then, uh... That's where he's losing the draft and they're starting to get him. He's all by himself. No one's pushing him. And then we're coming back up on him. Are you are you back behind there on the right there? Is that you? That is not me. But that is Travis in front. And we're going right around. This is turn three right here. Okay. Okay. And then we're coming down the back stretch. And how far back are you from Jack who's, who's filming? And you can see Travis's bumper just yeah. came up. Um, I think by now I'd already dropped out. Uh, my, my motor went, so I was already done. So did they come out and get you, or how, how do you bring your cart back to... Uh... Um, I lost power, but didn't, didn't stall out. So I basically drove it in, back into the pits. Gotcha. So... Anything else that we should uh, know about what, what's happening? Oh! Oh! Travis just spun out. All by himself, too. All by himself. Yeah. Things of what not to do. Thank you, Travis, for setting the example. All right. So your second full day of, of carting, so that would have been on Saturday, essentially? Yes. All right, so this is a shot of the interior. What's this interior course called? It's called the Sprint Track. It's an actual track, a go-kart track that's inside the big oval. Okay, and they had you guys running basically behind this, or around this Correct. thing. Correct. That's in the back corner of the oval. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So here's them. I guess lining up, and you guys are cruising in the background. So just give us some highlights of kind of what went down that second day. Oh, the second day was we all went out on the track, high hopes, getting our gearing down, getting our team strategy down. I unfortunately got tangled up. Um, so I ended up getting sent off into a hay bale. He's the flagman at Newcastle. The flagman at this spot for this day? Correct. He's the, he's the Newcastle flagman. Okay. So on the second day, what essentially happened out there, and this is the interior, and you guys are going around the actual oval, right? Correct, yeah. So, so was there uh, any crazy moments that happened on the second day? All plenty of crazy moments. All right.
Levi, your thoughts on the day? Um, being worked on getting lined up from all the races, but uh, besides that, it's a pretty good day. Were you happy with your performances today? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with them. We uh, improved from the start of the day to the end of the day. I think we improved. Okay, Travis, how about you? Thoughts on the day? Uh, we definitely needed that practice yesterday that we didn't get because of the rain. Um, I think we could have had a much better day today. Uh, first race for me, started off great, and then I just had to blow it going into turn one. To there my own mistake. Uh, second race, much better. Maybe just get, have Mike's back during that race and get us a top ten for both of us. So. Sounds good. Gary, birthday boy. Yes. Yeah, so Thoughts on the day. Great day, great birthday. First time at Daytona. Good wonderful time. A uh, little timid in practice on the road course. Got better all, all through the day. Uh, with two practices, worked on that. Then I had the opportunity to take out a 250 super card, shifter card. Topped out at 130 mile an hour going into banking. So that was a great experience for my 65th birthday. <laughs> and uh, one of my lifetime dreams was to run a, a supercar like that at Daytona. And it happened today. So then we, uh, our first race, we had a great start. Only ran one class today. Great start. We've got some good pushing going on early. And then uh, I lost all my friends and ended up all alone. Went towards the back, but that's fun. It was a great day. Ready for tomorrow. Okay, Mike, thoughts on the day? Oh, first and foremost, Gary, happy 67th birthday. 65th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's just, as we said, we need to work on linking up better, hooking up, and helping each other to do better. Uh, apologize, Gary. The motor blew. Good I up. couldn't help you Good. anymore. By the way, I have a cheap boat anchor for sale if anybody's interested. <laughs> um, second race, Travis and I hooking up. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Once again, you know, you gotta link up all together so it's all four, and that's the way we're gonna be on the boat. So. Okay, thanks guys. Looking forward to a great day tomorrow. Oh, Woo! Quick moment, quick moment. I do wanna give a great shout out to our chief, Grid expert, logistical expert, Don Schlegel. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Everyone thank that you made so much easier, for sure. So much easier. Yeah. And now, good and good night. And with that, good night, everybody. <laughs> what's your thoughts, Don? I'm running the track. All right, my, so uh, Nightlife Daytona. Looks like you guys were out there raging it. Did you guys have a good time when you're going out at night? Did you meet any cool people while you're out? A lot of fun. Meet some interesting folks, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. Did Donnie do anything weird? Did anybody in your team do anything fun or awkward when you guys were out? Oh, no. We're all perfectly behaved gentlemen. That's great. <laughs> That's awesome. Mike, did you have a good time down there for 2023 Daytona Cart Week? It was a great time. I'd like to thank everybody who made it possible before the track, on the track, and after the track. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, everybody. Big love. <laughs>